This ITTV update is brought to you in part by GoToAssist Express. If you're looking for the most reliable and most secure remote support tool on the market, you need to try GoToAssist Express by Citrix. And you can for free. Visit GoToAssist.com slash Dave. Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, Into Tomorrow fans. I'm your host, Dave Graveline. Welcome back to another ITTV update. We have some exciting news for you. Into Tomorrow has gone Android. Our mobile app is now available for free from the Android market. It's got several cool ways for you to stay tuned to our radio program and follow us into tomorrow. Of course, don't forget you can also get it on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and now even the iPad. Did I mention it's free? You can carry me in your pocket, and we're about to launch some application-only contests. You'll want to have our app. Are you recording videos in the dark? Rob's got a very cool LED light we don't ever leave behind. A lot of you vloggers will especially get a kick out of this. Rob? Hey guys, lighting is an important factor when recording videos. Dark videos don't make great movies. Oftentimes camcorders don't have a built-in light, and other times it's not just strong enough to light you up properly. That's where this lightweight LED video light from SEMA can be very helpful. We never leave our studios without it when we travel. It's very handy to have. And it's very bright. It's got 36 super bright LEDs. Ooh, that's bright. But it's safe to touch. It doesn't get very warm. The video light comes with a bracket and tripod mount. You can put the light in the shoe mount on the camera or attach the bracket where the tripod goes, like this. It also has a rechargeable battery, so you won't be wasting money on batteries. We got about an hour and 15 minutes of constant use on one charge. After that, it starts blinking, letting you know it's about ready to be charged. This LED video light is available for about 80 bucks from SEMA products. A lot of you vloggers out there might want to grab one. That does it for me this week. We invite you to stop by intotomorrow.com and read our show notes, where you can learn more about the stuff you hear us talk about every week, especially on the three-hour radio show. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. That is a pretty handy light. And speaking of cool LED technology, look at this solar super bright motion activated security light from Maxa Innovations. It's got 80 LED lights and does a great job of lighting the walkway outside our studio. We love it. If you're not already there, hit intotomorrow.com to learn more. This portion of our ITTV update is brought to you in part by Newegg.com. Academy Award winner Avatar is coming to DVD and Blu-ray April 22nd. Be the first to get a copy. Go to Newegg.com slash Avatar to pre-order and save. Once you know, you knew it. Do you follow us on Facebook and Twitter? We hope so. Just click the icons on our main page at intotomorrow.com. It's now time to travel into yesterday's most noteworthy technological events. Here's Chris Graveline and This Week in Tech History. This week in 1926, Western Electric and Warner Brothers announced Vitaphone, which was a process to add sound to film. This week in 1941, Igor Sikorsky accomplished the first successful liftoff of a helicopter from water near Stratford, Connecticut. And in 1961, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, gave approval for FM stereo broadcasting. FM stations to that time had been broadcasting in glorious monorial sound. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. We're very thankful for FM stereo, and of course our weekly radio show is airing on more and more FMs lately. Are you guys digging 3D TVs? Rob and I watched some of the Masters Golf Tournament in 3D at a Comcast event last week. Yes, Tiger Woods in 3D, big whoop. It was a pretty cool experience, though. Tell us what you like and what you don't like about 3D technology available now. Have you bought a 3D TV yet? Do you plan to? Participate right now by calling the Ask Dave hotline toll-free 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. And share your questions or comments. You can also send us a video response or leave a comment below. Well, that does it for this week. 
I'm Dave Graveline, hoping you'll catch our three-hour weekly radio show and participate. We have lots of cool tech prizes to share with our audience. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to stay tuned into tomorrow.